Okay, now, um, in India, though, sometimes I heard this, I know, and whether it's true or not, that if the husband died before the wife, mm -hmm, and this was a very old practice, I'm not sure in which exactly faith it was, whether it was Brahmism, Shivism, or Kaliism, right? But those are the three chief major gods besides Krishna and all that, right? But Krishna was still more human, right, than a deity, but he is the avatar of one of the gods too, right, if you understand, right? But anyway, <clears throat> an avatar is the human representation of perhaps an angel, as we would call it in the Christian faith. Now, the two trees in Eden, one went up and down. He walked up and down in the garden, that means this way, in the cool of the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the other might could move around. Because <laughs> it was really who? Satan. Satan, right. And you pick this up in Ezekiel 31, right? In fact, until Satan died, there was what? No doubt. Unless he killed Jesus before the foundation of the world, which is viewed as him getting Adam and Eve to sin, and then his world began, right? <laughs> well, <clears throat> if John's saying that in Revelations, where does it trace back to? Genesis chapter 3, where we fell. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is, though, mm -hmm, when Adam's, when Eve's responding to the serpent, right? She's saying something different than what God said the day before on chapter 2, right? She's adding something to it, right? She says the tree in the middle of the garden is the one she's not to eat of. But wait a minute, again, like I pointed out before, that's the tree of life, not reading the whole Bible and comprehending what is being said there. Mm -hmm. Now, would God tell her that, or would Adam tell her that, if she asked him the location of the tree, being smarter than her husband, but also dumber than her husband, in a way, too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the reason she was dumber is she knew there was a tree she wasn't supposed to eat of. Mm -hmm. But she ate of it somehow anyway. <laughs> but she was also smarter, because obviously she asked him something he didn't ask, the one telling them not to eat of it. No, no. <laughs> now, if we became as one of them or one of us, and the us is four because God's three from one, <laughs> okay, but singular as well, because all three are from the one form, right? And drunkenness in nature, right? So that means he's plural and singular at the same time, because <laughs> he's both male and female uh, in one body, our true hermaphrodite, right? But only two beings, Adam and Christ, were made or placed into the womb of the Virgin Mary as an embryo. Mm -hmm. And again, grew up into, oh no, as a tender plant, which refers to the females, by the way, males and females, by the way. All right. And as a palace, all right, as a cornerstone of a palace, all right. All right. Which was your daughters, right? Uh, and sons and sons too. Now, mm -hmm. David said that in one of the Psalms, by the way. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus is also the chief cornerstone which the builders rejected, which is used by Paul too. Mm -hmm. I go to the rock that the elders rejected, right? Right. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. I go to the songs that the builders rejected. So I have. Anyway, anyway. One is I go to the rock of my salvation. I go to the song that the builders rejected, right? Yeah. That's the lyric. Mm -hmm. Of an old church song I used to hear growing up. Right. Well, okay. And I. The difference is the daughters are referred to as a different kind of cornerstone, a polished 
corner salt, right? But again, if she's fully out the body of Adam, right, she would be more polished, more feminine than the tree of life in Adam and then her. Mm -hmm. Now, the tree of knowledge was obviously the chair of Satan in human form and his avatar, which he made into kind of like Kali, mm -hmm. based off of Shiva a little bit. I don't know. Because he also boasts as part of creation and the reason we die mm -hmm. and destruction, right? Okay, mm -hmm. you understand, right? So since that's part of the um, understanding of it, uh, Satan was obviously the tree of knowledge and Jesus was obviously the tree of life, which the Gnostics sarcastically pointed out, what, did the serpent give Adam and Eve true knowledge of doing God's will or of what, tricking them into having sex with him, both natural and obscure according to the Gnostic Gospels, right? Now, as when it got into the obscure sex, so with Adam, right? Not necessarily with Eve either, because Satan, in introducing her to the 806 himself, would also probably be more gentler with Eve, right? Since she is the receiver of Adam's penis in the sex act on day two, mm -hmm, when they were married, when they were married. At the end of chapter 2, right? But then they were naked and not ashamed, right? Yet, if Eve saw Satan when he started his sex act with Adam in the book, right? The way to put it differently, he probably did it more forceful and held Adam down more as if raping him too and, again, hurt his <laughs> hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It hurt real bad, <laughs> real bad, and caused him shame as well, which the wife is watching him get it in the butt, in the butt. <laughs> no way to say it. it, politely. That's the obscure part of the sex Satan taught us, right? And you would also, if you're Adam, consider it evil as hell and wonder why the hell the woman let him do it as well then have a problem with him and your wife, <laughs> anyway. For it not bothering her. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. But there again, you don't have something inside of her as she did with the natural sex as well. Before, the day before. The day before. And day six, right? <laughs> so again, we're being confused by who? Satan, who had natural and obscure sex with us in Eden. Now, like I said, does that mean gay sex is evil and you can't be over the age of 18 or 16 in Georgia and consent to it? No. But the key word is consent. You cannot rape a man as Satan half raped Adam, though he agreed to the deal. That's the problem, too. He offered him two holes for one. Bad idea. <laughs> if you offered that from the tree of knowledge, good and evil. <laughs> but you don't want to see it. I have to tell you whether you want to see it or not to be one of two witnesses. You get it? Don't matter if you believe it's the chosen one or not. Right. <laughs> But to be the chosen one, I gotta tell you the truth whether you wanna hear it or not. Right. I don't have a choice. I don't. It's just to save me from the lie you being told by everyone since Moses, I guess, right? Though he's more half truth in it than you think. Especially when Ezekiel brings it out more that Satan is the cherub that used to cover us, as is Jesus the firstborn of every creature and the first cherub himself, right? That makes the two angels guarding the way of life at the end of mm -hmm. Genesis 3, Jesus and Satan. No, no. But the difference is, Satan is trying to condemn us for every little rule we break, see, by the way. And Satan, and Jesus is tr trying to forgive us for all our trespasses in the complete polar opposite of Satan, right? So Satan is trying to condemn us and Jesus is trying to get us to forgive each other all our mistakes, right? Which is hard for some men, especially if you're raped into being gay, right? But then you want to take it out on people you think are gay, which then you're trying to actually make them gay, by the way. <laughs> and that don't mean they're gay, right? <laughs> or not until you do that act with them and they don't report it as rape or something, like I would. Because <laughs> see, if you're going to come at me that way, that's why I took karate, you know? 
And you're going to have to use up to a gun to try and kill me. And, uh, or worse. Or worse. <laughs> and yet, I'm still here. Yeah, he's still here. And the only one who can get in the house from dusk to dawn is a woman. No, no. You can't even get into my house. All right. If you're a man anymore, not even my friends of Iron and David can get into the house at night. <laughs> they got to bring the woman first. <laughs> Because I trust no man anymore. <laughs> I barely trust the women, but I want a wife, so that's the obstacle I'm facing now to find the wife of the wife. Who can go to me with Jerusalem and believe I can heal like the Lord for you know whatever she needs to believe. Right. Even if she went to sit tea in and believes and believes. So like I said, now on the previous video I was trying to upload. I, know. I was talking about could Jesus have been cremated and that's another reason by the disciples oh, no. when they found out he was a true hermaphrodite from John right? because <laughs> he was the only disciple there before the cross he also seen him become two other beings and then afterwards in Luke Chapter 24, uh -huh. it's brought out more how he explained to them in the old how he's the Messiah, even if in is the nature, right? But guess what? They wouldn't know that, you know, until after they burnt the body. Mm -hmm. But in Judges, where it talks about Samson's parents being visited by the angel, mm -hmm. In Jephthah's daughter, all right, <clears throat> by the way, mm -hmm. who is mentioned as also in Hebrews a man of faith, right? Mm. So in chapter 11, verse 39, we hear. And Jephthah vowed a vow unto the Lord and said, If thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Amnon unto mine hands, then it shall be that whatsoever cometh forth of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the children of Amnon, uh, Amnon, shall surely be the Lord's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. Mm -hmm. So again, he defeated the children of Ammon, mm -hmm. and they were delivered into his hands. Right. And he smote them from error even till thou come to Mineth, even twenty cities, and unto the plain of the vineyards, with a very great slaughter. Mm -hmm. Thus the children of Ammon were subdued before the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And Jephthah came to Mizpah <laughs> unto his house, and behold, his daughter came out to meet him with timbrels and with dances. And she was his only child, right? Besides her, he had neither son nor daughter, right? And it came to pass, when he saw her, that he rent his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, thou hast brought me very low, and thou art one of them that trouble me, for I have opened my mouth unto the Lord, and I cannot go back. Mm -hmm. And she said unto him, My father, if thou hast opened thy mouth unto the Lord, do to me according that which thou hast proceeded out of thy mouth, for as much as the Lord hath taken vengeance for thee of thine enemies even of the children of Amnon. But here's the problem. The Lord does not accept 
any sacrifice by fire of human beings, right? That's the point. Is this just the morality tell of a questionable thing Jeff to said mm -hmm. that where his daughter was the first thing to come out to meet him and he off asked, offered her to the Lord as a burnt offering the first thing that came out to meet him right or which happened to be his daughter here mm -hmm. and she said unto her father let this thing be done for me let me alone two months that I may go up and down upon the mountain and be well by virginity, I and my fellows. And he said, Go. And he sent her away for two months. And she went with her company, companions, and bewailed her virginity upon the mountain. And it came to pass. At the, right. and this is where it gets obscure again, right? End of the two months that she returned unto her father, who did with her according to his vow, which she had vowed, and she knew no man, and it was a custom in Israel that the daughter of Israel went yearly to lament the daughter of Jephthah the Gilead right, four days in a year. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, some speculate, okay, she lived kind of like a nun in a monastery, right? And never had sex. And died an old lady, but never had children or married, right? That's another possible interpretation of it. But the other one is, again, he sacrificed her as a burnt offering, which you're not supposed to do with human beings, as shown by Abraham and Isaac's sacrifice. And God also said, Thou shalt not deliver thy sons or daughters to the fire of Molech, which also was burnt offerings of your human children, right? So that's the catch-22 with that particular tale. Plus, is it a morality tale also to get them not to do that at all. I know. Now, are you to take the word of the Lord so seriously that you offer your daughter, <laughs> when God says not to, up as a bar offering? That's the question for this particular parable or story in the Bible. Mm -hmm. No, no. You cannot let a vow that's again, tempting of the Lord, right, to replace the law of God, right, which says thou shalt not do it in the first place, right? See, that's a moral tell. <laughs> you can't tell, huh? Right? Exactly. Yet, mm -hmm. with Samson, I know, and Manoah, mm -hmm. In, we could start at 13, 8, and Manoah entreated the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, let the man of God which thou didst sin come again unto us and teach us what we should do unto the child that shall be born. Mm -hmm. And God hindered to the voice of Manoah, and the angel of God came again unto the woman as she sat in the field. But Noah, her husband, was not with her. Mm -hmm. And the woman made haste and ran and showed her husband and said unto him, Behold, the man hath appeared unto me that came unto me the other day. Mm -hmm. And when Noah arose and went after his wife and came to the man, and said unto him, Art thou the man that speaketh unto the woman? And he said, I am. <laughs> and Manoah said, Now let us, let thy words come to pass.
how shall we order the child? And how shall we do unto him? Mm -hmm. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, unto Manoah, of all that I said unto the woman, let her beware, mm -hmm. Gina, <laughs> she may not eat of anything that cometh of the vine, mm -hmm. neither let her drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. All that I commanded her, let her observe. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, I pray thee, let us detain thee until we shall have made ready a kid for thee. And the angel of the Lord said unto Manoah, Though thou detain me, I will not eat of thy bread. And if thou wilt offer a burnt offering, thou shalt offer it unto the Lord. Right? See, the spirit is what he's referring to. <laughs> oh, that made even him. Right? For Manoah knew not that he was the an angel of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, What is thy name that when thy saying come to pass, we may do thee honor. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why askest thou after my name, seeing it is a secret? Huh? <laughs> so Manoah took a kid with a meat offering and offered it upon a rock unto the Lord. And the angel did wondrously. And Manoah and his wife looked on for it came to pass when the flame went up towards heaven from off the altar that the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar and Manoah and his wife looked on it and fell on their faces to the ground and the angel of the Lord did no more appear to Manoah and to his wife that Manoah knew that he was an angel of the Lord. <laughs> And Manoah said unto his wife, We shall surely die because we have seen God. <laughs> okay. He is God in the flesh. Muslims and Jews, right? And unlike us, he's all three forms. He's the God of all flesh, too. The head of every hermaphrodite, male and female. Mm -hmm. But his wife said unto him, If the Lord were pleased to kill us, he would have would not have received it a burnt offering and a meat offering uh, at our hands. <laughs> Neither would he have showed us all these things. <laughs> you know, he freaked out that they would die you know, <laughs> as a typical man. <laughs> and again, <laughs> the wife seems to be the common head there. <laughs> Nor would, as at this time, have told us such things as these, right? And the woman <laughs> bare a son and called his name Samson. Or uh, Samson. I don't know where I got the view from. But anyway, and the child grew, and the Lord blessed him, and the Spirit of the Lord began to move him at times. In the camp of Dan, between Zora and Eshtol, mm -hmm. which is again where Samson was raised. Right. Now, like I said, though, Samson also married a Philistine woman, and during the week of be having sex with her, mm -hmm. he asked his riddle as they were asking him riddles, right, and things like that. And, uh, and of course, his riddle was about the lion he found with bees who made honey in it and that he ate the honey from 
the lion. All right. And again, they forced his wife to ask him what the riddle meant. All right. And he knew they plowed his heifer. <laughs> All right, married heifer. He had cows. And the bull only has sex with one heifer. I won't have sex with her again, ain't that right, Ashley? <laughs> I mean, Judd. You see that movie? <laughs> but see, that's the point. You're making me like a bull with a virgin who I knew not I was with, but knew I was with her. But I'm not betraying our situation. She was tricked into it herself, right? By the person who tricked her into it. As well. as well. Now, she does not have to be a virgin for me to be with her again, right? She can only do that once, and, you know. But I know something happened of the sexual nature. You wouldn't make me from the start. Come on. I'm not done, you know. And take an hour to do something with her. <laughs> I know we did something. <laughs> and I know you overreacted because she was a virgin. And I know whoever talked her into it also tried to make sure if I was with her, if she could get pregnant too, because that would be proof of the sex. Sorry. And she had maybe some time around last saga. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> ask Daphne. I got Mary Bell possibly pregnant on birth control pills. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Even if you were, that don't prove anything. Because the birth control pills also makes the child a low birth weight baby, meaning he can be up to a pound to half a pound smaller, right? Now, if four nine and I got her pregnant on the 20th, right? That don't mean she wasn't already pregnant, you know, when she did something stupid with Bart or Steve or whatever, you know. Now, maybe he didn't have her use the birth control pills once and wait until October, right? Or he did it before me as he got pregnant by me after, which would be three weeks at a pound and a half for him, right? Larger versus two weeks at a pound to 11 ounces smaller for me, right? Who doesn't look like whose baby it is now, Steve? Or Bart or whoever. But you want to lie. You want to trick my wife at the time, into being with you because he didn't know what I knew about the Bible and I'm the only one worthy to know it, right? Besides the second male, if he even pops up soon, within the next 40 years, I guess. Right? And we still have a generation at least left, right? According to Moses as well. Mm -hmm. Before I can enter Jerusalem anyway, I know. When the temple's fully rebuilt. And that could take how long they say? About three years to fully rebuild it, right? Which is half the time it took Herod, which was probably about 10 to 20 or 30 years. I don't know. I don't know. All we know is by the time Jesus was there, right? Whenever Herod rebuilt it, and, uh, based on off of Solomon's temple, right? Which, again, if you have parts of the temple left, right? It was probably built on top of the remains of the restoration of the Temple of Solomon anyway. I know. So you probably can't, don't want to tell, it goes all the way back to Solomon. Plus they found the horse stables mentioned in the Bible at three different locations. And nowhere else does anyone mention it but about Solomon having them in the Bible. So who else would build it? Solomon, Solomon. They also discrepant it by about a hundred years, but you can't prove that. Because sometimes carbon-14 can misstate, right? Which is what they're basing it on. And not 
carbon-12, which is a living matter, right? But Satan become, became the father of all dead. <laughs> so he had to say Jesus to get him out of the way. Maybe he used the spear with a stone tip arrow. <laughs> stone tip and uh, on Jesus too, right? He was pierced through twice, right? At the fall of man, before that happened, and then on the cross, right? Because the cherub does not have to be born. And, uh, it can assume human form, obviously, as I just read to you. He's the angel of the Lord. He's the angel of the Lord. Yahuwah. Yahuwah. And that's why you tried to replace it with Adonai, too, right? Adonai, you know. Or now e now e And I have to do this, not because you want to hear it, but because the Lord wants to hear it from me. I know. <laughs> I keep telling the idiots that do this ain't for you, because obviously you don't want to even hear it. I know. It's so the Lord can hear it from my mouth, right? Not yours, not yours. Which it knows you don't want to know it. <laughs> It wants to hear it from me. I don't know. <laughs> and me to tell its truth that you will not tell anymore. You know, since Constantine took over the church. Up till then it was thriving until at least the first 500 years. But even Muhammad might not have heard of this mystery. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Mm -hmm. But that's the point too. Mm -hmm. Even if Jesus is cremated like with a uh, no. Though they would also roll the stone back, right? See, they have to get the body before the stone is sealed, right? To cremate it the night before. Mm -hmm. So when they're telling you that the disciples stole the body, they're not lying, but the problem is they would have to over overcome the guard, right? And say there's like... um. 12 to 11, they might can win, right? 